That's a, uh, a lower viscosity, yeah. so it's a thinner oil. Yeah, so it ain't so vicious on the power. So it's not as vicious on the power. But getting to the diff and changing it mm. is uh, it's time consuming. And because we've only got a certain amount of time to do it, don't think I'm not having enough time to change it. So what I'll do... So will it be a case, and if you're, if you're a bit strapped for time, will there be a case of you'll go out there run the setup that you're allowed to do and then and then later on change yeah. your oil yeah. okay. knowing that it, you know that's the difference. That is it. If these tyres don't or if these tyres are better it and it's still a bit too vicious because this engine is like a lot of bottom end. Um, I've tried to tame it by putting uh, softer clutch shoes in it. It's still quite vicious. So if it if I go out there now this next practice run and it's still a bit too much then I'll take the I'll take the, the measure yeah, of it. Lighter diff oil. You guys should be waiting. Right. Horsepower. I'm but they're 33,000, 35,000 revs per minute, so they are just so overpowered. 
and that's why they've got to be four wheel drive. There's no chance you keep it in a straight line if it's two wheel drive. And it's just so. That suspension there, is that active coils? Yeah, uh, and, and oil fields and different pistons that once again change the pistons, bigger holes, smaller holes, change the rebound. It's so much involved. It's uh, And they look, uh, they look like. You've got different carbon. spring rates as well. Yeah, different spring rates, and that, that looks like there's a little insert of carbon. Yeah, carbon, carbon there, there. Up, to stiffen up the arms. You get different, on this car, not on all, but on this car, you either fit plastic or carbon in, in the centre, in the arms, to stop it to give you a limited amount of flex, or the plastic ones give you more amount of flex. And how is all that measured? Is that just simply by getting it on the track and, and put, uh, seeing the performance? These, no, these companies are, who, who make these, We'll make them so they'll test them and test them because they never put them out in the market and then they're not right. They'll yeah. never do that. They'll, they'll always test them, test them, test them, and then put them out there and let people let people give their in their um, their comments, yeah, the yeah. inputs, and they'll report them like that. Uh, like I say, I've just gone to these. It's a harder compound, but a, a, a deeper tread. Um, hopefully they'll be good. If not, there's my sponsor who um, just import the tyres. Yeah, red racing engine pipes. Works racing to do the fuel for us. It's a uh, nitro methane and castor oil mix. Right. And the fuel's like 30 pounds a gallon, even though we're sponsored by it. But if you, the normal Joe out there, want to buy your fuel, you're going for 25 to 30 pounds for a gallon of fuel. Louise tyres, they, they, they're the importers, the UK importers for all them products. And a set of tyres comes to how much? A set of tyres and a set of wheels can come to a 30, 35 pounds. And, you need, and that's 35 pounds per heat? Per and heat, heat. heat, yeah, five heats. Right. Plus so minor. Okay, so 175 pounds. It, it can yeah. turn out to be a very expensive yeah. weekend. About 200 pounds for one event on yeah. tyres alone. Yep. So you're running a foam insert. Once again, different foams. You can run different different thicknesses, different density. Yeah, different density of foam. You you scuff up the outer rim, the bead, yeah. and the tyre. Because when they come off the press, when they come out the moulds, they are oiled. Yeah. They're oiled. So, so they, they might not look oiled, but yeah. yeah. So you rough them up, put them on. I use, you can get tyre bands to go around it. I always use cable tyres, I don't know why, I'm just so used to it. Was it is it safer or? It's, no, it's just that I, I think cable bands don't um, allow. Uh, no, they're not to tight enough. Right. Cable tyres, you can tighten as much as you want. This company make about five or six different compounds. Uh, no, sorry, five or six different tread patterns. And three, three compounds medium, soft, super soft. Your finals could last anything up to from 20 minutes to an hour. Right. So basically, you're only going to get between eight, eight and ten minutes out of a tank of fuel. The heat is yep. seven minutes. No right. problem, you'll get that. Yep. But a final, they all longer. So you'll have to come in for fuel. You'll have to have in the pit lane with a stopwatch. It will call you in, shout your name out. You'll go in. in. Yeah, you'll go in. Free they'll fuel. Fuel you up, going back out. If you can get ten minutes, brilliant. So we'll be looking out for uh, number 11 there. Yeah, in heat three. In uh, heat three. And uh, see how that one goes. And see if uh, Mike Rivier can emulate his uh, BMX days here on, <laughs> on the, on the on radio racing. control circuit. Yeah, see how that one goes. Now, I've, I've been speaking with Mike and uh, told him about the BMX World Championships, which, which only ended uh, yesterday. Oh, okay. But race day video have taken time out to come down here and see something else, which is uh, High fueled okay, as well, and as you just heard, the track is now open. We're going to head off over and uh, see what these things can do. All oh, right, okay. I'll tell you what's going on now. These are the, be these are the better boys. Just have a look what they're basically how the tracks, how their how their cars are running, what tyres they're running, because because they're so experienced. And how long would, would these guys have, have been racing? When oh, you say they're years, twenty odd years, yeah, right? These, okay. These boys like twenty odd years. They are the, the top, they are the the paid to do it, yeah, yeah, basically. So they can be at a track all day, they can practice all weekend, yeah. and someone's got work. No, it's just a, a very, very good hobby, very, very fast. But uh, all trial and error, it can be very frustrating hobby, but it can be a very good hobby, well it is a very good hobby, simple as that, I love it. This is the next series, like a pumping through the year, uh, five two day meetings through the year, and your best three times to count. The next two, which is here, and there's one at Slough in uh, September, they're the ones I'm going to do. We're all working in Finland, working for Google in Finland, um, electrician, so it's a bit awkward coming back. It's a bit awkward coming back 
just to do just this. To do, yeah. yeah. So it's only when you're in the country yeah. and, and it coincides with an event. Then you, um, I try to time it so I can do all the, all the races, but um, sometimes it doesn't work out.